101. Hey guys, welcome to Home Buying 101. To successfully navigate your real estate transaction, we're here today to show you virtually a home buying series hosted by the Spivey and Daniel Real Estate Group and our co-host, Summit Funding, the O'Malley team. We want you today to learn more about where to begin, credit approval, determining your loan programs, how the home buying process works, and down payment assistance programs. We're gonna teach you all the players and who helps you buy your home. So let's go ahead and meet our team. I'm Terry Daniel. I'm Melissa Spivey. I'm Michael Spivey. And we have with us today, Rob O'Malley. <laughs> Rob O'Malley. And we also wanna share with you guys the areas we cover. We're currently covering Alameda, Contra Costa, San Joaquin counties, and we represent first time, move up, new home, and relocation buyers. And if you happen to be a seller or an investor, we can assist you as well. So let's get started. Hey Pam, tell people why they should buy. You know, it just feels right. Oh, pride of ownership, achieving the American dream, not at the mercy of a landlord, uh, wealth accumulation through real estate equity. And we're going to have Rob, you know, speak on that. And also rent payment versus mortgage payment. Rob? Thank you, Pamela. Yeah, it's a, a big thing that we want to make sure we point out that we have to pay to live somewhere, right? So when a family gets into a home, we want to help you get in with as little money out of, out of pocket as possible so that you just, you're in the game. And what's really, really great that you just don't realize when you're going through the purchase process is a year, two, three years down the road, you're gonna be um, living in a home that's now probably got a six figure equity cash value to it. That's, that's profit because you moved in, you made the mortgage payments, paid your principal down while your equity was rising due to market appreciation. And then something that's really important to mention because I know the first time I bought a home, I was making a rent payment and then my mortgage payment was much higher than my rent payment or so I thought. Now, I'm not an accountant, there's my disclaimer, but I have had professionals teach me this math. Let's say that you're paying rent at $2,200 a month, and now your mortgage payment on a $450,000 home is going to be $2,750 a month. Yeah, that's $550 more than you're used to paying in rent. But here's the, the kind of the hidden magic behind home ownership is after a full year of paying that $2,750, you're going to have a mortgage interest and property tax tax deduction that you don't enjoy while being a renter. Right. So by the end of the year, let's just say 20% of that mortgage payment comes back to you in the form of a tax deduction. Now that 2750 after your tax deduction really reduces back down to that rent payment right around 2200 out 2200 a month out of pocket. You just have to make the higher payment all year long, which also is forced savings because it's going into your principal. You're paying your home balance down. So there's just so much good behind um, buying a home. And yes, it definitely feels right. That, that is definitely some great information, Rob. So um, what are some of the questions, Pam, that people usually ask when they're beginning to purchase a home? It's like, who are all the people we'll work with? What will they do? Can I qualify to buy a home? When do we meet with the lender? How much money we'll need? How does my credit impact buying? What are the different types of homes that we can buy and what is the process and how long does it take? Those are usually most of the questions that people <laughs> have and in the overview of the process and who are the people they'll meet and why should we buy? Well, that's our goal here today. We're gonna walk you through the steps of buying a home. We're gonna have Rob O'Malley discuss credit and common loans. And we're gonna hopefully answer some of your common questions and become a resource for your home buying plans. So Pam, let's go ahead and share the process with them. So first we're gonna meet with the lender and get pre-qualified. We're gonna shop with your realtor to find your property, offer on a property and write your contract, undergo loan processing and underwriting, sign your final loan documents, and then fund and take ownership. Well, there's gonna be a whole bunch of players, professionals who help you buy your home. So let's share with them those people. So Rob, I'll just start off with you. Thank you. Yeah, the first step really is meeting with a lender, running your numbers, and it really comes down to cash, credit, and income. Don't let the process overwhelm you because I know there's so much we do that can make it feel intimidating, but the bottom line is it's cash available for down payment, your credit score, 
to qualify for a loan program and determine your interest rate, and then your income to afford the payment. And we'll figure all that out in our initial meeting so that you can get right out with the, with the Spivey Daniel team uh, looking for a home. Okay. Perfect. And uh, so kind of taking a look at who manages the property search and the contract. So that's going to be your realtor. And like Rob said, the Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group, we're here for you. <laughs> And we'd love to, you know, help you locate your home, uh, negotiate your contract with the seller. And, you know, we manage your escrow from beginning to end, and that's going to be including inspections. And another person that, um, Michael, that's going to be a part of the transaction would be the escrow officer. Because they're the people that are going to provide the neutral environment to close the transaction. They're the ones that hold all the funds. And they actually follow directions in the contract and the lender's instructions concerning the transaction. So Pam, go ahead and share with them some other people that are part of the transaction. So we got the home inspector and that's people are gonna do the property inspections, the structural inspection if needed, cast inspection, septic, well, fireplace, whatever you need done, checked on your home prior to actually purchasing the home. And generally what happens is the realtors will order those inspections for you. And um, looking at who values a home you want, so that's gonna be the appraiser and the, they determine this value based on recent comparable sales, and it's gonna be ordered by the lender and it's reported. And the best part is the title company, because they manage the property's title. They record that property for you when you become a new homeowner, and they submit all the changes for you to the county. So at this time, we'd like to um, give the floor to our guests here, Rob O'Malley, <laughs> to discuss with you credit approval, once you meet with their office, Team O'Malley. Thank you, Terry. Credit is so important when it comes to buying anything anymore, especially if you're gonna finance and get a loan. I'd like to share with people, don't be intimidated by the credit score thing. If you're looking at your Credit Karma app and you see that your credit score is a 550, don't let that stop you from talking with me. I've spent a lot of years, I've been a, a mortgage lender for 18 years now, and I've spent the last eight years working with a local credit professional learning how to help families take a 550 credit score, turn it into a 650 credit score, sometimes in as brief as a couple of weeks and get you out there shopping for a home. Now, during the, the shelter in place with what's happened to our, um, our secondary markets, the stock market, the bond market, all that stuff's gotten kind of messed up with the 20% um, unemployment that we're incurring during this period of time. Ordinarily, our credit score requirement for FHA loans and VA loans for veterans is only 550. But right now it's 620. And it's worth mentioning that the average lending institution during this time period actually has a 660 to a 680 minimum credit threshold. We got you all the way down to 620. Conventional financing is when you're, um, has always had a 620 minimum credit score. That's a Fannie Mae requirement. And then more about the credit report. And there's, there's so often when I pull a credit report, I'll see some data in there that's old and just haunting a score. It could be an old medical collection you didn't even know you had or it was resolved many years ago and it's still reporting monthly. There's no one out there really to represent us consumers when it comes to what's happening with our credit reports. That's why I've aligned myself with a gentleman by the name of Diego Cisternas. He's the only credit restoration professional I trust. He lives right in Brentwood, California, and he's amazing. He, goes in and uses federal law, the, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Billing Act, and other federal statutes and laws to represent us consumers. And he can get that stuff cleaned off quicker than you'd think. It's actually quite refreshing to see what we can do to help consumers get into home loans when credit is the one barrier that we have. So don't let that slow you down. We're here to help. We appreciate that. Yeah, I just want to we add to that, too, that. that um, Diego and just the O'Malley team has been a game changer for us because having someone sit with the client regarding the credit and really pushing them through that whole process, it, it's changed everything for us. It helps, you know, so much more home ownership, just getting in there, you know, digging down deep with them regarding the credit. So thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Um, we'll go ahead and let Rob let you know how we determine, how they determine different low programs to fit different people, Rob. Thanks, Terry. Yeah, we talked about cash, credit, and income, right? Well, we just discussed credit and how we analyze and work with that. Then um, cash available and your income will often dictate the best loan program for you. Those three variables, cash, credit, income, it drives everything. It tells us, what we know based upon your data, what's, what's the right loan program for you. FHA is probably our most common because it allows, it's very forgiving when it comes to credit scores, so the interest rates are really low. Um, it allows you to borrow more money 
and it allows you to put down as little as three and a half percent down payment. It does have upfront mortgage insurance that you have to finance in the loan, and it has mortgage, mortgage insurance on that loan for the life of the loan. So think of it as your starter loan. It's there to help us middle Americans get into a home, and we will get you in, in with FHA, and as soon as you've got the equity position, and we'll then refinance you into a conventional loan to get rid of that mortgage insurance. And then VA, I always ask if a home buyer is a veteran, if you've served in the military, because that is one of my favorite loans. I am a VA specialist. It's 100% financing with no mortgage insurance, but it is for primary residences only. And then there's conventional financing. If you typically have higher credit scores and a little more money, that's often the loan program we'll go with because it's uh, as little as 5% down, the mortgage insurance payments can be a little bit less, the monthly payments. There's no upfront mortgage insurance premium to finance like an FHA loan. And you can use it for primary homes, second homes, or you can use it for purchasing investment properties. With the investment properties, it does require more down payment though, as, uh, as little as, or you must have at least 20% down. And then uh, an important thing to talk about is, you know, your, your cash, right? That cash to close. There's a lot of resources available that uh, the Spivey Daniel group and I can really help you analyze and figure out a way to get in. If there's, you've got your checking and savings, 401k, that's one of the best places to go. And that's the only thing I would advise someone to pull from 401k is to, for down payment on a home. And you can do what's called a hardship withdrawal for a primary residence purchase that allows for you to take much more out of your 401k with very low tax penalties. Then we can also, um, this is where the Spivey and Daniel group will, look to negotiate for you with the sellers. See if we can get a seller credit for closing costs. The loan programs allow for up to 6% of your purchase price to uh, be applied as credits from other parties. And then there's gift funds. You can have 100% of your money um, provided to you from family, close family, friends, or even an employer. And then of course, we always have our down payment assistance programs. Cal HFA from the state of California is one of our favorites that allows you to, to get a second and third mortgage that don't have payments attached to them and help you cover most of your down payment and your closing costs. And then there's even the GSFA Platinum Grant. That's some, gr that's some definitely great information, Rob. Thanks for stopping by and sharing with our um, buyers that are jumping in on our um, buyer series, because our goal is to get more people out there that to know that it's easy to buy a home. So everybody, our contact information is on the board there. It's Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group. And again, we want to do a special thanks to the Mali team, especially you, Rob, for taking your time out your day to share with people that there is a possibility that they can become a homeowner. My pleasure. Super exciting. I love being a part of this. Thank you. Okay. Well, everybody jump in. We'll be back with more information. Thank you. See you later. Bye. -bye.